In this video, we're going to add necessary dependencies to our project so that we do not need to write an API documentation for our project from scratch, but we use a tool which was especially created for this purpose to generate an API documentation for us. So the tool which I'm going to use uh, to generate interactive API documentation for my project is called SpringFox. And it's actually a project which is an implementation of a Swagger specification. You can find uh, SpringFox documentation and the getting started guides by Googling for a SpringFox keyword or by going to this page springfox.github.io forward slash spring Fox. You will uh, have this page opened and then it has quick links section and it has release and snapshot information. So uh, to go to a documentation, you can click on reference documentation and it will take you to this page, which is a very nice documentation, but it's also very technical. You can click on introduction section, for example, and read that the Spring Fox is a suite of Java libraries that are all about automating the generation of machine and human readable specifications for JSON APIs. And uh, it has a getting started section, uh, section number two. And this uh, getting started section has a Gradle dependencies and it has Maven dependencies. Uh, one of them we can copy from here right away and use it. And if you scroll down, it has uh, a lot of useful information, but again, it's um, very technical. And in the following videos, we are not going to use uh, much of it. So we will need the dependency for Swagger UI and it's section 3.5 Spring Fox Swagger UI. So once we add this Swagger UI dependency, we, we will be able to open a very nice user interface like this and use it to view the endpoints that our RESTful web service provides to be able to interact with our API by sending HTTP requests using this Swagger UI, receiving HTTP responses and so on. And another way to find Maven dependencies is to go to mavenrepository.com and here, just look for Spring Fox. In the search result, the very first two dependencies are the ones that we need. Spring Fox Swagger 2 and Spring Fox Swagger UI. So I will click on Spring Fox Swagger 2. And the latest version at this moment is 2.9.2. So I can click on it and then I can copy this dependency and then go to my Spring Tool Suite open pomxml file of my project and I'll add it at the bottom of the dependencies list. Right before the dependencies closing element, I will add the one for Swagger 2 and I'll switch back to my browser and copy the dependency for Swagger UI. 2.9.2, copy it and go back to my project and add it here. Now let's format the source code. Save this and let Maven do the magic and download the needed Java libraries for us to be able to use Swagger. Okay, so let's continue. 